Hello, so welcome to a little uh, video regarding the end or the coda of the second impromptu of uh, Schubert of the first set <coughs> um, D899 so this is what it looks like now this might seem a trifle um, over over much perhaps to to take in at first but actually it's very important I think that you divide it into two parts in exactly you know, it's one page long and the first half is one section and the other section is the, the second half so um, it's there are a number of repeats um, so it's a real joy to play um, but it's important to get your bearing around it so each each part of this coda, each half of this coda, has, um, um, shall we say, a um, um, a, th a theme which repeats. Okay, so it's got two themes, shall we say, two, two, um, yeah, two themes to each half, um, and the, and the second half also has a. Uh, a mini like a codetta to it a mini ending i think coda is the la is the italian for c for tail i think it means tail in italian um c'è quando sento di gravità permanente chi non mi faceva mai chiedere sulle coste e sulla gente so <coughs> we start on the b natural oh, it's a just point down here okay and this is up here, B as well. Okay, so here it's and get them ready for it because you're going to be just that with uh, this um, sort of arpeggio, broken chord, and here it's the same broken chord but as a chord, as a main chord. Okay, so, so I do it slowly. Okay, that's the first one, first uh, measure, and then again. And then it just changes to this, and that of course is the same thing. So, okay, but do it as a chord, but this as a broken chord. And then after that, you've got the third measure where this just moves up to the D, and this stays on the B, and it's going to be like uh, this, okay? And then. this and this back to that it's the same one we just had now here easy okay and that's it that's the first as I said theme if you like and then the second theme this goes on to the D natural this is um, now going to go to this B flat okay and again it's going to be um, uh, following a sort of similar pattern to the chord here so that's the chord and uh, okay all right and then this is nice and easy it goes down though to the E flat and this is the E flat. okay and that's going to be up here remember the the little fingers on the E flat here okay okay and then back to the B flat here and this is very easy and then this here back to the B flat and now this E flat not down there but up here and it's just those two and it's these uh, three broken chords here and that's it that's the first one the same thing happens up here so this is going to be the B up here and still down at this B same thing okay and then it's um yeah. this here this one here um, and down here okay wait wait down wait down here again um, and and this one is now yeah it's these three I think well yeah it was the same thing these three again and now this is slightly changed on the right hand although the left hand is exactly the same so it's down here again here we're gonna go to those uh, there these three plus this uh, octave on F here, so 
there, and then back to here, which we did before, the left hand. Same thing as the left hand, and this one though goes to this, and then it's um, back to there. Okay, same thing, we've just done it, and then back to E, E up here, and it's like that. So this is, I think, a new one here, yep, like that. Okay, these three now. This is here, which we've had, I think, before. Okay. Um, so now that's the first half done. It's a complete repeat except for that last bit, which I just showed you is, is like uh, this. Sorry. Okay. Okay, whereas before it was, um, if it was down here, it'd be, if it was up here, it'd be this. Instead, it's the, the chords. It was down here. Before. Okay, but there it's. Um, okay. Uh, now that's the first half. The second half. Is um, if anything easier now instead of being on the B uh, uh, flat we are now on the uh, on the B uh, on the B natural now we're on the B flat but it's right up here okay here it's starting on this uh, B here B flat here okay so we're talking about B flats now whereas we began with the B naturals here's the B flats and it's not this one way down here, but this one here, okay? So starting here for the second half, okay? Which I pointed to at the beginning of the tutorial, okay? Then it's very easy, you move up to this B, and you make this nice, easy chord there, okay? So, and this one is gonna be, it's just the, your, that's right here, okay? So, where is it? Okay, but it's, so. And then you go into this E here again. The same thing with the right hand, uh, except you're going to change, of course, to uh, this. That's all. Just these two fingers, okay? And that'll be here, okay? And then we have these two slip down to the C flat and the A flat and the F, okay? And that's it. This will also be doing like that. And then. Okay, to this. Okay, and then it's going to go to that. Just keep that finger there. Okay, and ending on the E as we were doing before. But this ends on this B here, B flat here, and that's like that. And then the exact same thing repeats. Okay, this is this is an exact repeat. Whereas in the first half it wasn't quite the exact because we had that. A chord instead of going like that. Yeah, this time it is a complete repeat. So this is going to be uh, back to this B right up here, and this one here again. Um, okay, and then here, here very easy, and then again, this it was like that. Okay, this chord, same thing again. Exactly what we had before. Back onto the on the side of the B here. Um, okay, and now that was a complete re repeat, exactly what it was before. Now this l brilliant little chord, little um, codetta as I call it, at the very end, which will be you just move these uh, f ha fingers down to there again. You've done that before, and that F. You've had that before. Okay, these three chords I'm about to do you've had before. Okay, so repeat completely. But this is a slightly different. This will be um, right up here, okay? And um, it'll be like this, okay? It's the C flat again. Yeah, and then up here. Um, and then this. Okay, and then these, just these fingers here move up. And these will be, you haven't had this before, uh, for certain, on this right hand. 
there, and then just move the left hand to an easy uh, sort of E flat, E uh, flat like thing here, which is kind of the same thing as the right hand is doing here. Okay, and then just this. Get your little finger on the B natural, and then when you've done that, doo -doo -doo, you then move that to uh, to this. Just move these to that, and then again, and then down there. Codette a bit again, that last bit. So these are moving, you've had it before, the left hand to there, and this is, as I say here, sorry, um, and just move to there, and just these two here, and then move back. So that's um, a little helpful tutorial really for the coda plus the codetta if you want to call it that. Um, it's just called the codetta, they're called the coda by Schubert. A, an ingenious way of ending this E flat major impromptu number two. It, it ends in, in the minor in a very dramatic way. Um, I think it was very revolutionary for its time, this piece. Um, I think that, I don't think, uh, or maybe Beethoven had done something which ended in the minor, having started in the major, but um, I can't think of what that was, um, and maybe he didn't. So maybe this was a totally unique um, work, um, and perhaps in that way you could say that the classical era, the classical era was moved on to the... Um, to the Romantic era, perhaps, with that uh, impromptu. Um, I think that it is the first work to begin in the major and end in the minor as a single work. Um, uh, I may be mistaken. Rather than, for example, a sonata, maybe Beethoven did do that. Um, it's possible that Mozart also did it, but it wouldn't have been as a... Uh, as like a, a single movement work, uh, um, like this impromptu. Um, okay, so it, there are links, I, I think, between this ending, the ending of this, and the ending of the fourth impromptu of the second set of impromptus that Schubert did, the one in F mi minor. But that begins in F minor, it also ends in a minor, but it has that same um, very dramatic rush to the minor um, ending, um, it, it reminds me a lot of this. I think Schubert um, understood what a good way this was to end the piece, and so he did it again for the F minor piece. But yeah, this one begins in a major, and um, and it works all the better for that. So um, yeah, that's a, hopefully a way of helping you with that coda. It's very important to break it into two halves. There. And then you see that um, there are lots of uh, things which repeat. Um, hopefully that's helped you. Thank you very much and see you next time.